<laughs> so what advice would you give someone that is trying to get out there and, and do what you do, like music for a living? Dude, stop this weekend. <laughs> oh, um, I would... The thing that I would suggest is just to know that this is what you want to do. You know, if you really want to do something um, and you've kind of set out to do it, um... I think it makes it a lot easier. It's almost kind of like if you have a mission statement. It's kind of like, right. I mean, it's it's even, I could relate it to the to the vegan thing too. It's like if you have a really strong uh, reason for doing something, you'll make sacrifices, you know, because it's a sacrifice to be vegan socially, for instance, and yeah. a lot of, you know, in a lot of, but you'll make those sacrifices. Mm -hmm. And the same with the music. It's sort of like, all right, so doing music and being on tour a lot, um, having financial stability it becomes a sacrifice or mm -hmm. you know and then that can bleed into relationships not just romantic ones but even friendships course, you know it's yeah. like you're not around a lot you know like uh you could be gone for on and off for like a year and a half or two years and then mm -hmm. all of a sudden it's like all right does anyone want to hang out you know and you're not as close yeah. with people then and, and so yeah. that's that's really challenging you know it's definitely you got to know that there's those challenges ahead of you and sort of embrace them and hope that you can find people that can understand and identify that you know uh that this is you know this is what they do and they yeah. just respect you and 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 like you just the same even though yeah. that, that they know that that's what you do and i think it's important because I don't know about you, and I'm sure it's even worse for you if you if, if you took for a long time and you come back home. There's this phase where you're just like, fuck, you know that depressed, yes. you, that depression phase where you just, now what, you know, like you, you really need that support, like where there's friends you can hang out with or like j dive into a job, you know, yeah. just to keep your mind occupied. And because it's work life is so different than being back on a still stand almost, right? Yeah, I mean, going back to to normal life. Uh, you know, everyone gets post tour de depression. Yeah. It just it happens to everybody. I think even I'm sure it happens to people that are wildly successful, and maybe yeah. they don't have to go back to some job when they get home or or whatever. Even if they've got their nice mansion or whatever they've got, yeah. uh, they you know it, you're going from you know this place where people are lifting you up and enjoying what you do on a daily basis to just sort of you know going back to being a regular person mm. that you know you'll walk into the coffee shop and. No one gives a shit. Yeah. You know, it's like whatever. Dude, do you know my <laughs> you're not Instagram? this cool guy. Yeah, no one's trying to get your autograph or yeah, any of yeah. that stuff. You're just like you're just a regular whatever person, you know. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so yeah, it's a little bit jarring, and that's you know, I'm I mean I'm not in it for for fame purposes. I mean, to me, the only good thing about I guess if you have uh, popularity or fame to to a certain level is it maybe just keeps keeps the train rolling um you know because you've got all that support so that's always nice so i mean yeah. that, i guess that's the only reason why i would like something like that but anyway uh so moving moving you forward it, of course yeah, yeah, we yeah. all do i mean come on you know <laughs> but i mean like yeah i mean it helps to have obviously people who support your music mm -hmm. and you know consistently because then you can keep doing it instead of uh you know having to try something else yeah yeah know? but uh anyway uh i don't know if i went off topic a little bit but uh i think no, I think you. No, I, I think you nailed it. You, you know, you, yeah, yeah. you just gotta move on and then go to the next thing. Speaking of the, so you are also working with the kidney thieves. I mean, you, you yeah, had yes, so many. Yeah. You work with so many projects. It just, it's incredible. What's one of your favorite things that, like, from all the projects you've done, like, the most, mm. maybe the best studio you've ever been in, or um, yeah. the coolest stage you've ever been on? I'm sure there's plenty well, of them, right? Like, yeah, I've but, got like, I've got, you know, I could, I could find something special about most of the groups that I've played in. Um, certainly it was a, it was a really cool experience to work with Sylvia Massey. I, I highly respected, you know, sort of the stuff that mm -hmm. she had recorded um, in the 90s. I mean, she did a lot of those, like, Tool records. And, you know, I, so it was really neat working with her um, up in Weed, California. She had this I remember that, yeah. old theater, you know, and I tracked the drums in the theater, and that was kind of That's cool. Awesome. And it was one of my really early recording sp experiences. I mean, unfortunately, I don't get in the studio as much as other musicians. I think I've become more of a touring kind of guy mm -hmm. as opposed to a, a studio person. But um, but I can think of very humble moments, too, that were really rewarding. I mean, I've got, you know, there's like kind of a 
classic heavy metal band that I, I drum with. It sort of happens on and off. Uh, you know, they had a lot of more steam back in the day, but a group called Early Man, and it's a buddy of mine from Columbus, Ohio as well, but he lives out here in Los Angeles. Music is fantastic. He writes great stuff. Anyway, we recorded in my crappy little drum studio. I mean, we just set up a few mics, right. you know, and it, hey, it sounded great. Hey, you gotta great. do what you gotta do sometimes, hey, you, know, you know? And he's so great at what he does that, you know, he made those drums sound awesome. Wow. I mean, so so there's a lot you could do with mm -hmm. that. And, uh, yeah, so that, I remember that being a really kind of fun mm -hmm. experience. I, I mean, it's kind of cool that... You've been pretty much from like the tour bus, the tiny tour bus in, you know, in the states. Oh yeah, like... even a car. I've toured in a car where you're on a different <laughs> back line every night, and it's just like you're in a you know? Toyota Camry or something. And I think that's <laughs> isn't that the secret though? Like it's it's you you do it all, you know. Sure. Like sometimes as guys are like, I only tour if I get this, you know, if I have under these conditions, and I think you can't be that picky. You just got to go and do your thing, and I, that's yeah. what you've been doing since I know you. You know? Yeah, I keep it real. I think it's that Columbus, yeah. Ohio is, is very strong in me. And I always, you know, in the back of my head, I always think of these, like, you know, punk rock kids back in Columbus, Ohio, like, you know, with uh, their views on L.A. and Hollywood right. and so forth. And, like, you know, bands that sell name. out, yeah. selling out and this and that and all this other kind of stuff. So, I'm like, I have I have that even still in the back of my mind, like, what would these guys think, you right, know? Right. And, um, you know, I just... I don't care, you know, I'm like kind of going like, all right, cool, you know, I can, I can tour, we'll sleep on someone's floor, it doesn't matter to me, and it's, you know, and I just welcome right. those moments where we're on a tour bus and we're getting to live yeah. it up, and I've certainly toured with people that are less um, humble in that sense, where, you know, the conditions have to be, like, yeah. top-notch the whole time, and, you know, and it's cool as a, as a person who's jumping along for the ride and, yeah. and drumming, you know, I mean, I, I'm not going to argue with a nice hotel and a nice tour bus and all this kind of stuff. Uh, you know, sometimes but, that's nice, right? It makes you feel like, yeah, man. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah! There, there, there's nothing better, and I, you know, I'll say this now: there's nothing better than a tour bus tour. I mean, you get you get on the bus after the show. You can just kind of like unwind. You're not having to drive. You're not going like, all right, which one of which one of us is gonna, you know, drive the first four hours to the, you know, on this eight hour drive or something like that. Like Twelve while hours. Everybody, while everybody oh. sleeps, sitting up in a, you know. Uh -huh. You know, and somebody smoking or something like that oh, in the van, man. and you know, it's just it's tough, and it gets tough when you're not in a small van because then you really yeah. get to know your band members. Yeah, take showers <laughs> whenever you can. Oh Everybody man, takes, yes. take those showers, please. <laughs> yeah, you know, for all of us. Yeah, baby wipes. I mean, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know. Do do the laundry, <laughs> like uh, like invest in certain. I mean, like there's so much cool stuff you can get for stage clothes now too, where yeah. it's almost like swimsuit material. Um, you know, we're, we're like super health goth with, with IMX. I mean, I use like a lot of uh, Nike dry fit type stuff that's black, but I'll use that. And then you can literally just, rent, you know, wash it, wring it out, and it's nice. dry the next day as opposed to like, you know, cotton or something like that or, or whatever material. Or like the vinyl, like the, you know when you go to the golf club and it's these smelly golf. Yeah, it's, it's like, like it oh, smells like mildew and all that yeah, stuff. You don't, yeah, you don't, it's like just, bad. yeah, it's funny because <laughs> certain bands will get on stage and you'll be like, what the heck is that smell? But it's a band that's been on the road for a while. And, and, and they wear the same clothes every night. Yeah, so you want to. wash it. <laughs> so try to stay, you know, hygiene's important. You know, try to be, just try to be clean, you know, oh I mean, God, I get yes. it. It's like. <laughs> so, so true. I mean, there's nothing worse than, I was going to do like a, another thing about that on, on YouTube, on my channel, like about, you know, five things guys need to really do. And not just guys, <laughs> girls too, but the hygiene is so freaking important. Yeah, yeah. It's just nothing worse than like somebody that's smelling. It's like, oh, it's Yeah, gross. I mean, it's going to happen to us on the road. I mean, we don't oh, really, it happens, we don't know, you know how bad we really smell, so I apologize people who meet us, like if there's like <laughs> a meet and But I mean, you know, we, we, you know, you know when you're really like bad, because I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. okay, I got to freshen up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Use those showers backstage. <laughs> <laughs> or like, if you do it like on a, on a low, if I would do it again the way I used to do with the band, like kind of what you guys did. Yeah. I would recommend just getting a gym membership, you know, and oh, just yeah. like going to the gym and like taking a shower. Planet and Fitness, twenty dollar black card. Can can get that? Yeah. yeah, you can go to any Planet Fitness. And they got massage chairs. And yeah, stuff. the whole deal. I, mean, I, I love Planet Fitness. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's pretty freak. I can't get any better than that. <laughs> I mean. 24-hour fitness is way yeah. more expensive now. I think it's 15 a month or something. Yeah, some of those other ones, yeah. they, they make them quite expensive. I yeah. mean, like, when I joined Planet Fitness, and I mean, I don't have the black card. I just go to the same one, but it's funny, man. Like, 
Ten ten dollars a month. I mean, that's like the Spend YMCA is coffee. not even. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, Come on, you can shower there. I mean, you can. It's great. Yeah, that Planet is so Fitness. awesome. So, what are your plans for 2018? You're going to be going on the road, right? Yes, Again. yeah, I leave in about a week and a couple of days. Um, yeah, so we head out to Europe. We start things off with two sold out shows in Liège, Belgium, so that's cool. Belgium. I haven't been to Belgium. Belgium. Yet. That's, Belgium's that's great. Nice. It's a cool, cool little country. You nice. know? I mean, you drive through it in like five minutes, you know, yeah. but it's, it's a great place. I love Beautiful. it. Um, so, we go there. Uh, we kind of hang out in the western part of Europe first, and then we do uh, a little bit. Of the, we go in the central and the eastern parts, and then we'll nice. And that one with uh, Russia, Ukraine, and we'll go to. We'll, we're finally going to do Istanbul. I mean, we were we were there before, uh, but then there was like bomb threats, and there was bombings in Ankara, um. and, and and you know we we were supposed to do Ankara and Istanbul in Turkey, but. Uh, so and, the, and then there actually were bombings that happened right near the club we were supposed to play. So when we got out of there, we were told by the embassy to to just not do the show, and there was a was very right. real threat alert. So we we unfortunately didn't get to do it. But this time around, we're going to play in Istanbul, and I'm pretty pumped about that. Wow. Hopefully, I can see some of the city. Yeah. Uh, so we end there in Europe, and and then uh, we'll fly back, and then we've got like a couple weeks off, and we. At that point, we do North America, so we'll do the U.S. Yes. and a little bit of Canada, uh, and uh, we're supposed to do some other stuff, but I don't know if I can unleash that information yet. So we'll see what happens. We'll put all the links below so you can check <laughs> it out and like you know keep yeah. in touch with you on Instagram and yeah, yeah, Facebook. Are you yeah. on Facebook a lot? Uh, yeah, I do it all. You know, yeah. I, I, you know, I'm, I, I get on there for sure. Yeah, most definitely. You know, I'm I like, guess that's the way to go. <laughs> I don't like be Facebook can... as much. I like Instagram better. Yeah, you know, it's cool. I mean, like a... You can move a lot quicker with the Instagram thing. It's yeah. like it's like a picture. Here's some stuff, whatever. Yeah. And then you just move forward. Yeah. And uh, you know, I I have that love hate relationship with social media. It's 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 important. It's like we all do. Yeah, it's you like know? you know, there's moments where I'm kind of like, yeah, this is a great thing. This is cool, you know. And then there's moments where I'm like, God, this is so vapid and empty. And especially, I know. feel like at least when you're on the road, it's more fun yeah. when you're in the studio. It's like. Uh, okay, here's another picture of me in the studio. Yeah, well, no, it's great though. I mean, the, you know? the people who, who keep up with it, it's like cool, man. Like, you know, you kind of like, but it's good. Get to understand. Yeah. Like, that's how I sort of know what's going on in your world. Because, right. you know, as we were talking earlier, I, I had, haven't seen uh, Jacqueline since a long time like five years, probably, or something like that. It's I mean, so it's fucking crazy. It's just how it works. You know? I mean, <laughs> so many of us, you know, yeah, yeah. we're all in LA and we don't ever get to see each other because everybody's so yeah. busy and just like, I would love to get out, but yeah. you know. Man, it's, it's tough. It's Between tough to, work, right? Because when you're not yeah. on tour, then you're hustling. You yeah, know? I got to hustle and work, gotta, you know. Hustle, we got you know? to make that money, you know. We got the bills out here. They, they cost. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's funny because everybody thinks it's so glamorous at all times. And it's just, you know, no, it's not. Everybody, buzz killing everybody, it. Yeah. <laughs> For all you people who don't live in L.A. are going to buzz kill it right there. But, yeah, it's, but it's, I mean, it can, you know, we have moments of glamour. It's, you know, there's moments where. Well, how, do you, how important do you think it is to live in L.A.? You know, for what, what oh, we do, a, like, for you know, music. I, I think about that a lot, you know, I mean, because cause I've, you know, because it is such an expensive city to live in, I mean, there's moments where you're kind of like going, man, my life could potentially be easier if I just yeah. lived in a cheaper place. Yeah. And in some regard, I think it is, it, to some level, it's unnecessary to live in Los Angeles because a lot of tours, especially tours where you're probably going to get paid on or things like that. I'm not talking about a band that's yeah. just starting from the ground, ground up and doing, you know, and everybody's in it together, you know, going through the trying, trenches trying in the beginning. Yeah. yeah, in the beginning. I'm talking about a bit, maybe a band who's a bit more established. If you're going to drum for a, or play in a group like that, you could almost live anywhere because essentially there's a lot of times there's these bands that I'll play in where, you know, people aren't even in the same country wow. half the time. And, like, we all just, like get together kind of somewhere near wherever the first date is and we run a rehearsal spot and you know you know it's just like all right get a wow. plane ticket and we're gonna meet a t couple days sometimes we don't even have a rehearsal wow. like i did the frontline assembly tour and the fr the rehearsal was like you know like 10 minutes of sound check or whatever Holy shit. And, you know yeah that was it they just were like all right let's just see what happened you know do your homework so, right yeah do your homework. homework we know that yeah. you've done this before so just yeah i mean so so yeah there's that too uh and then you just make it happen